Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy this story. I'm going to try and upload a new story each day. Reflections of the Malevolent In the quiet, forgotten corner of an old antique shop, hidden behind dusty shelves and forgotten relics, stood an ornate mirror. It was an unassuming piece, framed in dark mahogany with intricate carvings of serpents and demons. The mirror was etched with strange symbols, and its surface bore a tarnished, sinister glint. This mirror was known to the owner as the Reflections of the Malevolent, a piece of cursed history that whispered secrets of the supernatural to those willing to listen. One stormy evening, a grieving woman named Eliza stumbled upon the mirror while seeking solace from the loss of her beloved sister, Amelia. She gazed into the mirror's murky depths, tears filling her eyes as she whispered her sister's name. To her astonishment, Amelia's reflection materialized within the glass, her face pale and ethereal. Amelia, is that truly you? Eliza's voice trembled as she reached out to touch the mirror's surface, fingertips brushing against the cold, foreboding glass. Amelia nodded, her voice barely more than a haunting whisper. Yes, dear sister, the mirror has granted us a connection, a bridge between worlds. Eliza was overjoyed to have this opportunity to communicate with her sister once more. They spoke for hours, sharing cherished memories and tearful goodbyes. However, as the clock struck midnight, the atmosphere shifted. A chill pervaded the room, and the mirror's surface darkened. Malevolent entities began to manifest from the shadows of the mirror's reflection. Twisted, grotesque figures clawed their way into Eliza's world, their eyes glowing with a sinister hunger. They whispered vile secrets, their words dripping with venom. Eliza recoiled in horror, realizing the dreadful price she had unwittingly paid for her connection with her sister. The mirror had not only allowed her to communicate with Amelia, but it had also opened a doorway to the malevolent spirits trapped within its curse glass. Desperate to protect herself and sever the connection, Eliza sought the help of a wise old occultist, Dr. Sebastian Blackwood. He warned her that the mirror's malevolence was not easily contained. To break the bond, Eliza would need to embark on a perilous journey into the spirit realm. With Dr. Blackwood's guidance, Eliza confronted the malevolent entities within the mirror. She battled dark forces and uncovered the mirror's tragic history. Long ago, it had been crafted by a vengeful sorcerer to imprison the souls of those he had wronged. And Mila, too, had fallen victim to the mirror's curse when she had inadvertently touched it while trying to communicate with her sister. Eliza's love and determination ultimately freed Amelia's spirit, breaking the mirror's curse. But the malevolent entities were then fought fiercely to maintain their grip on the physical world. Eliza's struggle with the dark forces was a harrowing battle of willpower and courage. With the combined strength of her sister's love and Dr. Blackwood's knowledge, Eliza banished the malevolent entities back into the mirror, sealing it forever. The cursed mirror shattered into a thousand pieces, and as the shards tinkled to the ground, Eliza felt an overwhelming sense of closure. Her sister, finally at peace, whispered her gratitude from the afterlife. In the end, Eliza had triumphed over the malevolence that had threatened to consume her world. The reflections of the malevolent had been vanquished, but its haunting legacy would forever linger in the shadows of her memory, a reminder of the darkness that dwelt within the depths of mirrors and the power of love to conquer even the most malevolent of forces. Years passed, and Eliza tried her best to move on from the traumatic encounter with the cursed mirror. She had learned to appreciate the precious moments of life, knowing that they were fleeting. Amelia's memory remained a cherished part of her heart, and she often found comfort in the knowledge that her sister was at peace. Dr. Sebastian Blackwood had become a close friend and mentor to Eliza, sharing his vast knowledge of the arcane with her. He taught her how to protect herself from malevolent forces and how to recognize signs of supernatural danger. Together, they dedicated their lives to helping others who had unwittingly stumbled into the world of the paranormal. One chilly autumn evening, a desperate young woman named Lily approached Eliza and Dr. Blackwood, clutching a weathered journal. Lily's story was hauntingly familiar. She had found a cursed mirror and had unknowingly unleashed malevolent entities into her world. She was drawn to the pair by tales of their bravery and expertise. Eliza and Dr. Blackwood took on Lily's case, their hearts heavy with the knowledge of the horrors she had likely faced. They examined the journal, finding it filled with cryptic symbols and chilling accounts of her encounters with the malevolent entities. 
it became clear that they needed to confront the mirror's curse once more. With determination in their hearts, they embarked on a treacherous journey to locate the cursed mirror that had ensnared Lily. They discovered it hidden in the basement of an abandoned mansion, shrouded in darkness and decay. The mirror had a malevolent aura that seemed to pulse with a sinister energy. Eliza and Dr. Blackwood performed an intricate ritual, invoking ancient protective spells and calling upon the spirits of good to aid them. As they gazed into the cursed mirror, the malevolent entities manifested once more, their twisted forms clawing their way into the physical realm. But this time, Eliza was prepared. With newfound strength and the wisdom she had gained from her past encounter, she battled the malevolent entities alongside Dr. Blackwood. They formed a united front, their love and knowledge proving to be a formidable weapon against the darkness. As the battle raged on, the mirror's malevolence weakened and the entity's power waned. Lily's cries of fear turned into shouts of courage as she joined the fight. Together, they pushed the malevolent spirits back into the mirror, sealing it with an unbreakable barrier. With the mirror's curse broken and the malevolent entities banished, Eliza, Dr. Blackwood, and Lily emerged victorious. The haunted mirror lay shattered on the ground, its dark legacy finally put to rest. The three of them stood amidst the shards of the mirror, breathing a collective sigh of relief. It was a testament to the strength of their unity and their unwavering resolve to confront the malevolent forces that lurked in the shadows. As they left the abandoned mansion behind, they knew that their work was far from over, for there were countless other cursed relics and haunted objects waiting to be discovered. But they faced the future with courage, knowing that they had the power to protect others from the malevolence that dwelt in a supernatural world. And as they walked away from the mansion, they carried within the lessons learned from their haunting experiences, forever vigilant against the darkness that sought to intrude upon the realm of the living. Thank you for listening, I hope you enjoyed this story. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.